Hello and welcome to codeinpractice.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to write, compile and run our Java program. Now, if you would recall from our earlier lecture that uh, we need to first write a program, then we need to compile it into, into something called a bytecode, and then that bytecode will be run on the Java virtual machine. So, first order of business is to write the program so let's just launch notepad plus plus and let's uh, write our program now first we need to make a class to do that just write class and then give the class name I'm just going to call my class hello and then we need to give a starting curly brace and an ending curly brace and whatever will be the content of the class will be in inside these two curly braces uh, press enter and now we need to give it something called a main function a main function is where uh, from where the uh, execution of a program starts and how we write the main function is like this public static void main and every function has this or every method uh, this is also called a method. Every method has these two brackets as well. And within this bracket, you must write string arg. And then we begin the body of this method. And uh, as the body of the class is indicated by starting and a curl ending curly brace, so is the body of the method also indicated by a starting and an ending curly brace. Now inside that we need to write our instructions that will get executed when we run the program. Uh, for now, don't worry about what uh, this all this means. All you need to remember is that this is the main function and this is where we will write all our code. Now the code that uh, we need to write to just print a simple message on the screen is this. And inside this, we will write our message. And this completes our program. Now we need to save this, so click Control S and it launches the saving window. Um, now, what I need to tell you is that uh, when saving a Java program, always remember that if you have the main method which is this thing inside a class then the class name which is this is the name of the file so we need to name our file as hello dot java and uh, I have a folder already created as java dev you may also wish to create a folder in which you will keep all your development files so I'll give the file name now now remember that to give the file name first write double quotes twice so once twice and within that these two double quotes write the name of the file now as i told you i will name this file hello.java uh, notice that the h is capitalized capitalization does matter so uh, you need to be careful whether your file is called capital H E double L O or small H E double L O so that matters and this name H uh, E double L O with a capital H should be exactly over here hello and then dot Java press save to save the file and as you can see that some characters have been highlighted now why they have been highlighted and why some of them have not we'll get into that later but now let's run our program so I'll just close this and I'll launch my command window. First we navigate into our development directory. And now we need to compile this program to make something called the bytecode. To do that we will call the Java compiler with the command Java C. And then we will give it the name of our Java file or the Java source file which is hello.java. 
press enter and as you can see that nothing much happens but actually something is happening in our development directory we only had one file in the beginning it was hello and now when we ran this command java c now we have another file called class dot hello dot class which is the class file or also known as the bytecode now we need to run this bytecode on the java virtual machine to call the java virtual machine use this command java and give it the name of our bytecode the file that contains the bytecode um, that is hello but we do not need to specify the dot class at the end uh, if you do you will get an error so just don't do that and press enter and as you can see that hello youtube is printed now what's happening is that uh, when we uh, call the java virtual machine and give it the bytecode it executes that bytecode uh, if you want to have a look at what the bytecode looks like um, it looks something like uh, this which does not make much sense to you now but uh, it makes a lot of sense to the Java virtual machine so that's how you write compile and run a simple Java program so that's it for now and thank you for viewing